here, Paul. Welcome to Westworld. What's up, brother? Thank you, man. Um, how does it feel to, to bring yourself online for this show? It feels uh, incredibly exciting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Were you a big fan of Westworld coming into it? Massive fan of the show. Uh, when I got the call to sit down with Lisa and Jonah, I had already seen the second season twice. The show is a, it's a complicated one. It's a messy one. And the first two seasons took place within uh, Westworld. And, you know, when I sat down with Lisa and Jonah to hear their sort of arc of who this guy was and uh, the arc of this season, I walked out of that meeting just so rejuvenate, just so excited. Um, I mean, I wanted to scream inside of the, the meeting saying, yes, my God, of course I will do it. I just feel so blessed uh, to have been asked to be a part of this beautiful, brilliant show. One of the things that's great about Westworld is how it how it mashes genres together. It's the yeah. Western, it's the sci-fi. Um, what do you think it is about that genre mashup that appeals to, to people? I feel like people can just relate to the show. It's it's a crazy otherworldly kind of show, but it feels like it's our reality, our not too distant reality, which is crazy, but also you're not really sure what world you're gonna see. Um, so uh, that's also very exciting. Yeah. You know? What was it like to imagine this future Los Angeles, to, to try and like extrapolate a couple decades down the line yeah. what all of this is going to look like, interacting sort of in like a, almost like a Blade Runner type Yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy. If you see, uh, even before I jumped onto Westworld, you could look up um, like the future skyline of downtown LA, all of the buildings that have been approved, that, you know, they're working, you know, they've already done all their permits, and you could see how massive these buildings are and what the skyline will look like, and it's very much like what you're seeing yeah. in Westworld. And that's just the stuff that was approved a few years ago. Um, you know, more and more stuff gets approved, you know, on the weekly, but uh, it's cool, you know, stepping into Singapore to shoot some of the exterior locations of downtown LA was so surreal. Um, Singapore very much feels like the future. Yes, it does. I've been no in trash on the road, uh, no gum anywhere to be seen. Uh, the cleanest subway I have ever stepped foot in. Yep. Um, I mean, there's no trash bins. That's how clean it is. You carry yeah. it with you. Yeah, you just yeah. carry it. It's, it's, it's wild. Yeah. Tell us about Caleb. Tell us about the character from mm -hmm. sort of broad strokes perspective. What are we getting into with this guy? Caleb is uh, a guy with a very um, complicated, somewhat messy, dark past. He's had a, a lot of trauma in his life. And uh, throughout this... Uh, this season, you kind of get to know what that is. You sort of are introduced to it at the beginning of the show, the first episode. You sense that there's something going on, but more and more layers are revealed throughout the season. He's introduced to uh, Dolores very early on, towards the tail end of the uh, episode one. He meets her while doing a, a, a job. Um, and uh, that he gets on the Rico app. He does like these sort of petty crimes and uh, he sees this girl in distress and comes to her aid and that's sort of where their friendship begins. Yeah. And then Do Dolores is sort of like this educational tool for Caleb. Uh, she tries to kind of teach him what society is all about and the control it has on, um, on its group, like the bigger umbrella, the bigger picture of it all. Um, not everything is really as it seems, and so yeah. Meeting Evan and getting to work with her and getting to see her bring Dolores to life as somebody who watched Westworld oh multiple times. Dream. Talk to me about that. Dream come true. I mean, I'm, you know, it's impossible not to be a huge fan of of Evan's uh, work. Her resume is just so incredible. Um, but yeah, to be able to work opposite her as Dolores was, you know. Dream come true. Yeah. Um, really, it's just, I've never jumped on to a, a show like this as like a regular that's already been proven and it's huge success, already huge, massive built-in fan base, you know, from, from the movie back in the day to this, and then now season three. Um, yeah, stepping on set and seeing these actors inside of these characters is... Uh, it's what, you know, so why I do what I do. You know, yeah. it's just, uh, it's, 
it's great. You know, as a new kid in school, they welcomed me with such open arms and quickly, uh, I quickly felt like I was a part of the family. Nice. Uh, last one for you is, is in that vein, um, what was it like to drop into it in the middle of its third season? Uh, was that, was that challenging at all to drop into the middle of this world? It wasn't. It wasn't really challenging for me. It was just. It was just nothing but exciting. It was hard um, in terms of like schedule, and uh, it was no joke. Um, endless amounts of night shoes, no sleeping. Um, it was a lot. Uh, but you know, all the rumors are true about Westworld. Um, but I wouldn't change it for anything. It's yeah. just the best. And to be working alongside of uh, people like Lisa and Jonah. Uh, you know, this is the best of the best. And yeah. so, and also just watching two people so obviously in love with each other and they just lift each other up and help guide each other. And it's really an amazing environment to be around. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, man.